This is my character guide for Android 13 introduced in DLC 5 or Extra Pack 1. His stats are great across the board making him a very strong character for any playstyle. His super salt is looks like you're done to give you a huge boost to your basic attack after you use data input. I have to say his model does look very clean, although I was hoping for a super android transformation but we didn't end up getting that. First let's look at the moveset. Now let's look at the super moves. Starting things off with full power charge, your good but not great charging move. Next is your generic meteor crash on most DLC characters. And his unique move handy cannon, doesn't really do anything. Data input to give you a sort of diet ultra instinct where you dodge all moves and it also increases your attack damage with your super soul. Full Power Energy Wave is your generic first ultimate move. And SS Deadly Bomber is a super awesome tracking ultimate ball of energy death. And finally your evasive is instant rise. Now it's time for the damage test. I see Goku has more friends to share his brave with. A fully maxed out Meteor Crash will do 4044 damage. We only get 2066 damage from Handy Cannon, not quite sure what this is supposed to be useful. Full Power Energy Wave, your generic ultimate will do 5444 damage. SS Deadly Bomber will do 5942 damage. Now we're moving on to combos, using data input for the Super Soul attack increase and your grab move will do 1593 damage. Your full light combo chain will do 3,314 damage. Your full heavy combo chain will do a quite respectable 3,583 damage. Finally, the maximum damage combo chain, which is the best one I found at the time, does a quite nice 6,233 damage. This has been my character guide for Android 13, released in DLC Pack 5 or Extra Pack 1. There is a playlist on my channel for all of my character guides and there will be more to come. But until then, stay tuned for the next exciting episode of Axonius Rex.